junk food. Is that what this is called? Uh huh. Episode two. Dan and I are doing a grocery haul. We just got back from Trader Joe's a little bit ago, so we wanted to show you straight out of the bag what we got. We have decided that we want to cut up like our fruits and our vegetables and kind of pre-prepare some things. I got that idea from my friend Michaela, who I think I mentioned in a couple videos ago. She just started a channel and that's what she does. Now, when you cut things up and you store them, you already start to lose some of the nutrition. But to be honest, I've been eating really. Oh like, well. It's yeah. Easier. Oh well. Exactly. And I haven't you been eating. You end up eating the fruits and vegetables if it's easy. Yeah. And I haven't been eating enough fruits and veggies lately, so I feel like something is better than nothing. Huh, little Zoe? My puppy. Oh yeah. Okay. On my main channel, what I'm going to do? I hate going to my main channel. My lifestyle channel. I am going to do a product haul from Trader Joe's too because I picked up some beauty products, um, like bath and body type products. I think there's, I just bit my tongue. I think there's like a cleaning thing in there too. So um, if you want to see that, I'll link that to my other channel and let's do it, Dan. Okay, so the first thing I got is this roasted butternut squash, red quinoa and wheat berry salad. I can't tell you if it's good. This is a straight up haul, but I picked this up. It's good for like two more days and I thought it'd be nice and easy. It looks funky. Yeah, it kind of does. Spinach artichoke dip. That stuff is dang. We've been eating this for a long time. It is so good. Just yeah. with Tostitos or whatever, just throw it in the microwave for, what is it, three minutes? Yeah. It's really good. We don't really eat it good. that often. It's like a late night good movie snack. That's exactly what it is. Okay, then I got some. Don't eat it with dinner because it'll spoil your dinner. Yeah, basically. Then I got some organic baby lettuce mix. You just took it out and threw it. You're like, I got these. Well, we have so many bags to go through. Yeah, we do. This talk is so cute. I know. <laughs> okay, French onion soup. Super easy. It's really good. So good. Snack. And it's this vegetable snack broth. Food. To those of you that are vegetarians and want like a veggie broth instead of the beef, a beef broth, that's a veggie broth. Then we got a yellow squash. These are just three yellow squashes grown in California. They're not organic, but they're local, and yellow squash is good. That you bought. Next thing, <laughs> organic zucchini squash. There's like a lot in this. Five. Oh. Marinated chipotle chicken. Dude, that. You can smell that through the box. It smells you know, so good. Anything chipotle flavor is really good. So. I love the way you say chipotle. You say it like a chipotle. hot, it's a hot surfer. Chipotle. I love it. Okay. Then I got some cut and peeled carrot organic baby carrots. I'll use these to dip in like hummus, uh, chop them up for soup, all that kind of stuff. Organic mini peanut butter sandwich crackers. I just got those. I didn't pick these up. I hate these. So here, you take it. Well, I told you guys I haven't been eating enough as I'd like to. So I honestly just let myself grab whatever looks good as a snack. So. We bought some more pasta sauce, a creamy tomato basil. Mm -hmm. I haven't tried this one before. And the arabiata. Um, this isn't the one that we had the other night, but this is like half the price, so we'll see if this one's good. Yeah. I know this one's going to be good, though. We I like have, creamy ones. We have been major creatures of habit with pasta sauce, um, just because of like the health side of things, but lately I'm realizing, I'm like, dude, i got to start mixing stuff up, man. Just like a little different, because it's just getting old. Oh, we're barbecuing tonight. Woot woot. One of Dan, Dan's favorite cheese, the unexpected cheddar cheese. This is my favorite cheese too. So good. I like to, whenever I add <coughs> cheese to something, it's always this. It's so good. It makes everything better. It does make everything better. Garlic, basil, linguine pasta. Ooh. So, well, it's got like flavor in the noodle already, I guess. Wait, have we had this before? No, we've had their other one. Okay. I remember the other one being good, so I'm looking forward to that. Dan grabbed this. This looks good. Pasta and lemon cream sauce with stock eye salmon and asparagus. So this looks pretty well, good. Well, Trader Joe's has a lot of um, packaged pasta meals like this, and um, they're always coming out with new ones. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm looking forward to it because it looks good. That Most of them good. are. Most of them are good. Okay, this is pretty monumental. I had my first bite of meat in three and a half years yesterday. I just kind of felt like it. And it was this meat because his mom made it and it smelled so good. I was like, dude, I think I'm going to have a bite. And everyone was like, what? It's, it's like Korean carne asada. So you don't, well, I 
don't know what you would do with this. I just put it on the barbecue, and once it's done, I eat it straight from the barbecue as I'm cooking the rest. Is that what you're gonna barbecue tonight? That's what I love doing with this stuff, just plain. Is that what you're gonna barbecue tonight? Mm -hmm. So good. I'm gonna barbecue veggies. I've got this artichoke and hearts of palm no, with raspberry no, vinaigrette. I did, but I think in the salad, it's not canned. It'll have a raspberry dressing on it. It's hearts of Satan. Yeah, I mean, that stuff's pretty, it was pretty I bad. I want to watch you eat this. I think it'll be fine. Okay, hopefully. All right, so then I'm planning on making a fruit salad with another item we got somewhere. I don't know where it is, but I bought some blackberries because I'm going to do blackberries, bananas, um, these, where are they? Let me see. Oh, right there. Okay, so I'm planning on using these orange flavored cranberries, which are amazing, in a fruit salad. I'm going to use the blackberries, strawberries, banana, and cranberries. Wait, why would you flavor another fruit? Because the flavors fruit. go so good together. So then I got some organic frozen raspberries for smoothies. Hmm. Hurry, Danny, pull some items out. Nikki bought a new salsa. Haven't tried this one ever. Uh, so we got that salsa, which is just like a mild, regular salsa, and then we got the Sereno salsa fresca. This stuff is incredible. It's so good. His mom got it, and she had it one day when we were like barbecuing at the house, and it was so dank. So I really recommend checking that out. So we got two kinds of pasta, just regular bow tie pasta because they're so cute, and then uh, brown rice pasta. So cute. These ones are a little different. Um, they don't cook as easy. Sometimes they don't turn out right. You have to cook them perfectly. And I'm not a chef, so sometimes it comes out good. Sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so then over here, I just pulled out of the grocery bag. We got some more frozen fruit for smoothies. So it's uh, wild boreal blueberries, pineapple tidbits, but just pineapple like chopped up, and then um, strawberries, which this strawberry packaging is really cute. Grade A fancy strawberries. I love the frozen pineapples. They're so good. Yummy! All right, this is my favorite bread from Trader so. Joe's. It comes in a pack of eight. They're tiny little rosemary rolls with cheese on the top. They're so good. So good. You put fish on them, lunch meat, grilled cheese. Those are so good. Dang. We buy them every time we go to Trader Joe's. Okay, here are some organic bell peppers. I'm going to use these tonight, I think, on my veggie skewers that I'm going to make when we barbecue. So, yummy. Nikki put these in the shopping basket. I'm like, what do you need onions for? And she's like, because we currently have one, one onion, onion. So I don't think that story is that funny. This, no, it's not. <laughs> it was really funny in the store. Though. It was funny. This is her guacamole. Mm -hmm. I'll do a separate video on how okay. I make the guacamole. Oh, yeah. A lot of people ask about that. Okay, then I got goat cheese medallions. It's cool because rather than a giant like thing of goat cheese, they're wrapped individually so they all stay fresh. So that is cool. Why did you buy fresh strawberries? Because the fresh strawberries frozen. are for the, the fruit salad. Oh, because I like making strawberry lemonade with fresh strawberries. You might have to just go get yourself some more for the barbecue. Hmm. Okay, then I got three bottles of the blueberry pomegranate green tea. You guys know I'm a little obsessed. There's only two here because I already opened one up, put it in the fridge, and I'm drinking it. Nasty. So then I have right here some hummus. This is smooth and creamy roasted bell pepper, roasted red pepper hummus. Probably good, but I don't know. I haven't tried this one. I've had that before. I like it. And then soy slices, cheddar flavor. Organic tomatoes on the vine and Manners. bananas. Ooh. So that's our grocery haul. This is obviously, like, to be honest, we just shop for what we need when we need it. This is not like everything that we consume all the time. But this was today's grocery haul. Anyways, let us know in the comments if you find grocery hauls interesting because we shop at different stores kind of frequently. So, oh my hair. So we'll show you what we buy if you like it for another episode of healthy junk food. Let's yeah. go buy some real junk food next time. Let's buy some, let's do a bad junk food video. Bad, really bad. And then feed it all to Zoe. Okay guys, so we will see you next time. Have a good day and yeah, bye.